This is Mike Hallahan, Dr. Fallfinder, and welcome to your Butterscotch.com tutorial on what is a restore point and how do you create one. Here in Windows 7, a restore point is created using Windows System Restore, and what it does is it takes an impression of the state of the computer at the time the restore point is created. So for example, right now I'm perfectly happy with this installation of Windows 7. I can create a restore point. And sometime in the future, if I install a program and it messes things up and things aren't working right, I can go in and restore the computer back to this earlier date and time. So here in Windows 7, you can right click on my computer, select properties. If you haven't elected to have a my computer icon, you can also click on start, go over here to computer, right click and select properties and you'll get back to the same spot. Click on system protection and under system protection you want to click on the system properties system protection tab. Now here it shows system restore and if you go down here create a restore point right now for the drives that have system protection turned on. Here I have drive C protected. So I'll click Create. I can type in a name. It will automatically put in the date and time. So I'm going to type, type everything running well. And that gives me a point of reference. You might do one when you're installing some piece of software and you're not quite sure about it. So you create a restore point. You can call it before installing such and such. And then if you have a problem with such and such, you can go back in and restore your computer to a point before you installed it. A very handy function. System Restore utilizes disk space. It tells us the System Restore point was created successfully. Say close. So that's a restore point. That's how you create one. And that's all there is to it. 